Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to beat Valsic, the Art of Priest, in the second boss of the Wrath of the Machine raid. So this boss is pretty simple, but it does take a lot of teamwork. So all you really need to do is have two people on the right, two people on the left, and two people in the middle. And as you can see, these three relics will come in. You're going to need to designate three people to throw those relics at the guy's shield pretty much at the same time. It doesn't have to be the exact same time, but you want to make sure it's done within a few seconds of each other. Now all you have to do is just keep defending a few more times, the same, do the same thing over again. But after you throw the balls, you need to check and make sure that you destroy one of the screens. You're going to see right here, the screen symbol comes up on the right right there. It can spawn in any one of those monitors, so you just need to be on the lookout for that screen. And you and a team have to destroy that as fast as possible in order to continue. Now the relics will spawn about two or three times. If you do them perfectly, it should only take three rotations and you should easily be able to take down a shield. Now once the shield's down, you need to just do DPS as soon as you can. All your and your whole team need to do as much DPS as possible for about 15 to 20 seconds. Now once the DPS is done, two more relics will spawn in. You need to throw those back at the Archon Priest one more time. Now once you've thrown the balls at the Archon Priest, you just check for one of the rooms on the right or the left to be lit up. You need to get as many as your teammates in that room as possible and then destroy the button on the right side of the door. This will seal off the room and leave you and everyone else inside alive while the SIVA burst goes off, allowing you to rinse and repeat this method and do it about two more times until the boss is dead. Now once the boss is dead, there will be a chest which requires a cash key, so you can open that up for some extra loot, and one of my friends even got a quest out of that as well, so I'm not really too sure what that's for, but there was a quest that dropped out of that chest. There is also an exotic chest coming up, so stay tuned for that real quick, and I will show you guys where one of the exotic chest locations is. So in the next portion of the raid, there's a bit of a jumping puzzle where you move from one boss to the next one, and there's actually an entire extra room on the right side where you can find a secret chest. So if you look over to the right side as you're jumping through, you should find an additional room. It's pretty easy to find. You just jump up a little bit and you will see it's kind of like an additional pathway on the right that's white instead of brown like this one. So just keep an eye out for the right side of the map. There will be this little box that you can actually go into, and that's an additional pathway. And right around the corner from there, there is a chest that you can get. Now, I didn't get any exotics out of it, but one of my fire team members did, so this may be an exotic chest, and I definitely did get some pretty good gear out of it. I ended up getting a legendary, so it is a little hidden though, but right here you drop down and you can jump into this pathway over here, come around the corner, and make your way towards the exit. So once you're towards the exit, you'll actually probably have already walked past the chest. It should be right behind you, and it is a little bit hidden, but if you turn around, you should be able to find it just pretty easily. Just jump over here to the left. You need to jump up again onto another level. And then you should be able to get it pretty easily from there. Just head to the left into this room here. And instead of going right like we are supposed to to go towards the exit, just head to the left and you will see the chest right there, ready to be picked up. So here, here are my rewards, guys. I got a legendary, but one of my friends did get a Monte Carlo. So this is definitely a chest you can get exotics out of, as well as some additional SIBA clusters to help you guys level up your gear and your weapons later on. So hopefully this did help you guys out, and if it did, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys later on in another one.